Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about rechargeable batteries. Yes, rechargeable batteries. If uh, I'm sure most of you must have used rechargeable batteries sometime in your life and many of them are frustrated with these rechargeable batteries because the common complaint is that rechargeable batteries are not that good. The most common complaint that I hear is that they do not, uh, what do you say, uh, the charge does not last. For example, if you put it in a camera, charge your battery today and put it in a camera and you use your camera after two weeks or uh, something like that, most of the time the battery will be dead. And the other complaint that I hear often is that uh, these rechargeable batteries generally do not recharge that good after let's say about four or five months. But things are not that bad. And what if I would say that you can solve all these things I have been personally using rechargeable batteries for no more than 12 years or so and I also used to hate these rechargeable batteries but about two and a half or three years ago I uh, did a lot of research actually on rechargeable batteries and I've also created a site specifically on rechargeable batteries that's rechargebattery.com I'll put the link in the show notes so that you can go to that site and by uh, carefully using these rechargeable batteries these batteries can get you even better results than alkaline batteries the biggest problem with rechargeable batteries is not the batteries but the kind of charges that we use. I would go ahead and say that most of the charges that we get with these rechargeable batteries, they are bundled, are junk, and they generally destroy these rechargeable batteries. And also the second frustration about rechargeable batteries that they do not hold the charge. They are new type of batteries that are known as LST, that is low self discharge, and these rechargeable batteries can actually uh, hold the charge up to 80% even after a year. So uh, let's have a closer look at the same and I would uh, definitely suggest that if you're going to buy a new rechargeable battery have a uh, look at these Enelu uh, what do you say batteries this is a very good brand by Sanyo and these are great. The second thing that I was talking about is the charger. Yes the charger is a very important part but sadly we do not pay much attention towards that and if you're using a quick type charger that generally charges your battery in let's say 20 minutes 30 minutes or less than an hour it's actually junk it actually destroys your battery because uh, it puts in a lot of current and if you notice these fast chargers they heat up your battery a lot so I would strongly suggest that you do not use a fast charger but use a slow charger I'll, uh, I'm basically using a Lacrosse charger it's a charger and a conditioner and it has a lot of functions actually and I'm going to show you the same right now so let's have a closer look at the same so this is the Lacrosse charger and conditioner and these are some of the rechargeable batteries actually I have about two dozen re rechargeable batteries and this one is almost about eight years old and I was able to fix this battery using this charger and this is our, around four years old and if you're going to buy let me keep it on the side if you're going to buy a new uh, rechargeable battery I would strongly suggest that you go with this any loop battery these are very good and these are LSD type that is low self discharge I have a bunch of these and they never disappoint me I have put it in some of the gadgets that I normally do not use frequently and even if I pick them up after two or three months they work fine these batteries are excellent and uh, this is the old version of the any loop this is just 1900 milliampers uh, the new versions are 2000 mAh and also you get a high capacity that is 2500 mAh from any loop. So these are the rechargeable batteries and as I have said a charger is also very important and this is not just a charger this is a charger and a conditioner. And the good thing about this charger is that we can control the voltage that goes inside this uh, rechargeable batteries these are actually uh, NIMH batteries so let me just put in this battery and by default it will show us the voltage and we can adjust the current actually and we can adjust in the ranges of 200 mAh 500 700 or go 1000 and all the way up to 1800 milliampers I generally do not uh, charge my batteries beyond 500 mAh because as I have mentioned earlier uh, putting a very high current is not ideal you can go up to 1000 mAh uh, but beyond that I generally do not recommend and the other good thing is that uh, it is independent let's say if we want to charge this battery at 500 mAh and we want to charge this battery at 200 mAh that is possible with this charger and now I just select this one and I'm going to adjust the current and let's charge this one at just let's say 200 mAh so as you can see we are charging this battery at 200 mAh and now the uh, blinking will just stop 
and it's going to start charging at 200 mAh. The other good thing about this charger is that uh, if you are a nerd like me and know a little bit about battery, you can hit this display and actually know the exact voltage that this battery is uh, right now having in real time. And we can also uh, get an idea about how much the battery is being charged. For example, 5 mAh of current has been put in this battery. And as we have put this one just now, this will also start ticking. And if we again hit the display, it will show us the time actually, how much time uh, it is charging the battery. So it is also a good idea. And this cho uh, shows the charge. We are charging this one at 500 mAh and this one at 200 mAh. So this gives us a lot of uh, info about the batteries. Also another innovative feature that this charger has is that it has a refresh function. For example, let's say this battery is not charging that well. And by using that refresh function, you can actually retrieve a battery. I won't say it will retrieve every battery, but it does a good job of that. But do note that uh, the refresh function takes a long time, anywhere from about 24 hours to 36 hours, depending upon the battery condition. So if you have a lot of rechargeable batteries with you, I would seriously uh, tell you that uh, invest in a good charger and a conditioner. This is the Lacrosse charger that is a BC1000 uh, uh, and there's also one more version that is Maha charger. You can get both these from Amazon. I'm going to list their links in the show notes below. And uh, I have been very uh, using this charger for uh, quite some time and I have been very happy with the same and the combination with this uh, any loop batteries is great. So if you have stopped using rechargeable batteries because of the woes, I would suggest that you invest in a good battery like a, a any loop batteries and a good charger. Not only it will help you save money in the long run, it's also good for the environment. So I hope this video about how to get the most out of your rechargeable batteries and what kind of chargers that you need to use is helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.